Hello, my name is Dr. A.J. Dederlein, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist at Towson Orthopedic Associates in the University of Maryland Sports Medicine. I wanted to take a few moments to talk to you today about a couple of common shoulder injuries that happen in an athletic population. We oftentimes hear of shoulder dislocations and shoulder separations and don't fully understand the difference between the two. In order to fully understand that, I need to explain a little bit of the anatomy of the shoulder. The shoulder is actually comprised of a couple of joints. The first of which is the main ball and socket joint, where this is the top of the arm bone, which forms the ball, and the socket is this structure here, part of the shoulder blade. A shoulder dislocation happens when the ball pops out of the socket of the shoulder joint. Shoulder dislocations are one of the more common injuries that happen in sports. Usually an athlete will have their arm in an extended position and have an external force applied which will cause the ball to pop out of the socket. When the ball dislocates it can either stay dislocated or it can pop right back into the socket. Usually, if the ball pops right back into the socket, the severe initial pain is alleviated somewhat. If the ball stays out of the socket, usually a rather substantial amount of pain is experienced and urgent treatment is necessary in order to get the ball back into the socket where it belongs. This usually either involves a reduction maneuver performed by a trained physician or athletic trainer on the field or by a trained professional in an emergency department of a hospital. Once the shoulder has been properly reduced, it is initially immobilized in a sling. The treatment carried out after the dislocation happens varies tremendously on the athlete, the athlete's age, their activity level, and their goals for return to sport. We know that the younger an athlete is when they dislocate the shoulder, the more likely it is to happen again. Thus, young, active individuals have a very high rate of recurrence of dislocation once their initial dislocation happens. Therefore, your treating physician may talk to you about stabilizing a shoulder to prevent recurrence from happening. For the recreational or non-contact athlete, surgery may not be necessary in order to allow for stability of the shoulder to occur. Oftentimes, a physician will prescribe physical therapy to strengthen the muscles around the shoulder joint to compensate for the injury that has occurred. Oftentimes, this can be successful in preventing recurrence, but in highly active, young, athletic individuals, especially those who participate in contact sports, that may not be sufficient to provide the stability necessary to avoid recurrence of a dislocation. When a shoulder dislocates, there's injury to the shoulder that occurs. When the ball pops out of the socket, a rim of cartilage that surrounds the socket, called the labrum, is very frequently torn. The labrum is a very critical stabilizer to the shoulder, and if it is torn off the socket, places an athlete at significantly higher risk of recurrence of the dislocation because of the loss of stability to the socket. The labrum is important to allow for the socket to have appropriate size and depth to stabilize the ball within it. The shoulder is a joint, unlike other ball and socket joints of the body, such as the hip, where the ball is much larger than the socket. Therefore, there is a great deal of emphasis placed on the soft tissues, such as the labrum, the ligaments, muscles and tendons that surround the shoulder joint to keep the ball located within the socket. Therefore, if the labrum becomes injured as a result of a dislocation, it can substantially increase the risk that another dislocation may occur. When surgery is performed to stabilize the shoulder, that labrum is reattached 
to the proper location along the rim of the socket. That's accomplished through an arthroscopic surgery, which is surgery that is performed through small poke hole incisions where we can place little tiny anchors along the edge of the socket and reattach the labrum to its normal position. Once that occurs, we've restored the normal soft tissue attachment and stability of the socket to minimize the risk of a redislocation from occurring. Shoulder stabilization surgery is performed arthroscopically and on an outpatient basis.